What's good, everybody? Once or twice a year, my wife and I take a cruise. Uh, this year, we decided to go on the Carnival um, Mardi Gras cruise at the end of October uh, into the beginning of November 2022. It was phenomenal. So here is our full experience. Uh, we're going to give you a tour. The restaurants we went to, it was amazing. You guys sit back, relax. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, this is a ministry channel fighting for our marriage, but, um, you know, we like to do something like this just to encourage other marriages all around. So take a look. That is so dope. What's up, everybody? This is Reg and my beautiful bride, Aisha. Welcome back to fighting for our marriage. For our marriage. Listen, every year we do us. How many years have you been doing? We, we like to cruise. How many years have you been cruising? Since 2017. Since 2017. See, I'm glad she didn't ask me that or I would not have remembered. Since 2017, we've been going on a cruise. We've been to Honduras. We've been to uh, Mexico. Mexico. Well, everybody goes to Mexico. Yeah. We're about to board Some other Mardi Gras. Some other parts California, Mexico, something, something. Right. A lot of little places. There's a lot of little places. So here we are right now. And we live in Louisiana, but we're in Louis Armstrong, Louis Armstrong uh, Airport. We're getting ready to fly to Orlando, and we like to get there fast and take, take it, it slow. slow. So come on, you're going to be on a journey with us. We're going on the Carnival Mardi, Mardi Gras. Gras baby. Mardi Gras. So y'all going to be with us. We're going to do a lot of touring and sightseeing. Uh, but this is for us. Yeah. So we're gonna knock you in the way. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Y'all ready? ready? Let's go. Peace out. Stay tuned. One more bite. <laughs> One more bite. Nobody told her to get this stuff. Look at my beard. You can't tell the white from white from the beignet. I'm full. I am too. Look, look what she did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. She tried, I didn't, she tried to tell her what she did. Messy. I told him to let me eat it on a regular ground so it wouldn't be all like noticeable. Yeah. I know, but still, I like looking at my seat. Uh, I don't even think. I'm good. No thanks. <laughs> What'd you say? You got to what? It's gonna have to go to waste. Like on the oh, floor. No. Oh. Ah. Yeah, so as always, we had to stop and get something to eat. Dealing with this one in her particular self. It's Chipotle! She, she I love Chipotle. Chipotle <laughs> is my that. life. We just heard from our kids. Just They're doing good. They're happy. Now we got to get on this. So, of course, we're waiting on our shuttle. Me and my boo. Hi, baby. Hi, what you eating? I'm eating Chipotle. I got me some yeah. tacos. Let's take a look at what I you got. I thought it was going to be less uh, messy, but I lied. It's real messy. I'm trying to use a fork and be all sedity. It's good. 
It is good, but... What do you have in there? Why don't you tell us, huh? Why don't you tell us? a little bit of chicken, and some lettuce, and some cheese, and some sour cream, and some pico de gallo, and a little bit of green tomatillo. That's about it. It's the only time we're going to eat, like, some regular, like, regular, regular food. food. Everything else is going to be straight up ship food. Sound like I said something else. Like, like when we was at a volleyball game. I thought I said another word. And I was like, get the girls off the bench. It didn't sound like she said Get off the bench. But anyway, so. Fighting for marriage. We about to have a great and awesome time. Getting on the Mardi Gras cruise. We paid for this a year ago. That's a tip. Bing. Pay for your cruises a year ago. This woman right here, you see this? My, that's my financial aid. That's my uh, account accountant. That's my she 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 be doing the thing. So she. Yeah. That's what I just helped make. God made me just for him. Just like God made him just for me. He helped each other. So that means help. I wouldn't be who I is if it wasn't for this. It is. So that means help. Make my needs or, or help meet my needs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I'm eating. It's a burrito. This is nothing compared to what you're about to see, so stay tuned. We're about to hop on the Mardi Gras Carnival. Man, one of the big one of one of the biggest trips that we've ever been on. I mean they got roller coasters. Huh? What's today? Okay. Some of y'all might not watch this until, sorry. Oh. Some of y'all might not watch this until like some other time in the year. It's October, like the 29th, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. And we're here in Orlando, Florida, about to catch the Mardi Gras shit. So we can go to, uh, I can't even tell my hair looking like it's looking. Like it's looking. Anyway. About to go to San Juan, Puerto Rico, Grand Turk, Dominican Republic, and then uh, Amber Cove, Dominican Republic. So, in October, and uh, we'll let y'all know how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of one on one. We came from Louisiana. Orlando so here's another tip fly out here I've never been at the Orlando airport honey how, how... <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of difficult to find our way through so we finally got it we got our luggage but you have to get a shuttle to where Cape Cape, Cape Canaveral Cape Canaveral and what you want to do is you see behind me Got to come down to the ground, transportation. ground transportation, and you want to look for out of state shuttle. Let me show you. Out of town, my bad. I'm tripping. You want to look for the out of town shuttles. Let me show you. Okay, so again, what's it called, babe? The ground, ground transportation. After you pick up your luggage, you got to go down another floor to ground transportation, and what you want to look for is the out of town shuttle. There are two little 15 passenger buses that will park here uh, and will take you to Cape Canaveral. We did not know that. We kind of had to figure it out on our own. But hey, what's what's an adventure when it's not adventure or us? So us is gonna have an adventure. As long as I'm with my wife, we're gonna have an amazing time. My wife is crazy, y'all. So you were finally on the shuttle. You want to tell them about your experience? Oh. You look scary. It's a Halloween cruise. That's going to be my face for the whole cruise. To match everybody else's personalities on this cruise. It was what? It was a clear black night. A clear... <laughs> 
Warren G was on the streets trying to consume some skirts for them, something so I can get some something. Strolling in my ride, strolling all along, something just hit these. <laughs> it wasn't clear, but. <laughs> Take 36. It was a good <laughs> Look like that one more time. Why you turn the camera off? He turn the camera off when I talk about him. He be hating on me. Look how look at his face right now. Look, look at his face. <laughs> and if you know like I know. You don't want to step to this. It's the G Funk era. It's the, oh, okay. It's the pre warn me. You gotta tell me the words, too. Take 56. Take 622. Start the song, honey. If you know, like I know. How you gonna switch the song up? No. See? No. He grows. Okay, take 667. Ray Charles. Don't you come back no more. <laughs> Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, so to say the least, we had an adventure. We were on the port, no, the outside parking ground A. We had to go to B. We had to check in, which was about another hour or so but now we're on the bus I'm on the bus taking it sleep I mean sleep She's hot sir. <laughs> so we taking the stairs because the tell them tell them what normally happens. Don't trip, don't even trip. Tell them what normally happens on day one and the elevators and all that. For those of you who don't know. And see, we only got a couple of flights of stairs to take. Even though this ship is heck up here and like it goes up to like the 18th floor. Right. We're only going up three flights. So why would we sit here and wait for an elevator where a hundred thousand other people are waiting for an elevator? It just don't make sense, right? It don't make no sense. So we take the stairs up and bring the elevator down. Cause everybody does the opposite. Well, 
I think it's getting too far with it. <laughs> we ain't even quite made it to eight yet. We still got one more flight. All right, I'm going to press pause. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm running suicide stairs at bleachers at the, That's at at the stadium. Person. Oh, yeah, we're going there. Yeah, we're going to all of us. Ooh, that was dope. <laughs> all right, we made it to our floor. Headed to our room. We're almost there. We have like three more, five more steps. Oh, no, we don't it. stop there. We passed it. This is us right here. Oh, got so. it. We reached our room. Sorry, guys. We reached our room. It's okay. This is us. Right here. Tight squeeze, come on in. It's pretty tight in here. Welcome to my crib. I thought our bed was over there. Our bed over here by the bathroom. Uh, this looks just like, remember this that lady? Like toilet. Don't say that. I gotta re record. I don't know how I feel about that. I do know how you feel about that. I know. I'll have to delete all this out. Here. Chair, it's short, but I mean, hopefully, hopefully your knees don't hurt. She's a, all right, and this is outside. Nice little chill spot. Oh. Our first stop. Uh, what's the name of this spot, baby? It's Guys Pig and Anchor. So it's a barbecue joint. So this is our first time. We stopped to eat. I'm gonna uh, show y'all what, what smoke. Uh, what beef, you got? Some andouille sausage smoke. and some chicken. Where's your smoked beef? This is my smoked beef. Mm -hmm. I don't look a little burnt beef, but it's okay. We're gonna try it. I got some collard greens and what? some macaroni and cheers. It's college greens. They went to high school and then to college. <laughs> they look a little slimy, but let's see what happens. Tell me about your sauce. Okay, so the sauces, let me explain. So this one right here, this is the Carolina. This is Guy's Carolina. This is Guy's Kansas City. And this is Guy's bourbon and brown sugar. So we don't know what's going on with this. But we'll be back in a minute after my husband tells you what's on his plate. Mine is, mine is easy. That is. Mine is that's pork butt. So you have, so you know, right here you have the pork butter. That's the pork butter. I got some baked beans, some mac and cheese, some um, this is chicken. I forget the name of it, chicken. And this is uh, um, uh, no, no, that's not brisket. That's uh, that's meat. We're about to eat. Lord bless this food. We're about to receive for the nourishment of our body. Bless the hands that prepare it. The resources where the food comes from. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name. She's not even, she not even paying attention. She okay. We're about, we're about to dig in. So this is our first stop. It's uh, Pig and Anchor. It's Pig and Anchor. Guys, Pig and Anchor. Ciao. Okay, so Pig and Anchor. Pig and Anchor. It was delicious. <laughs> How was it too? It was good. I had some slimy greens, but they were good. Yeah. Uh huh. It's a macaroni and cheese. You can't really, she ate you my can't plate. really look at my plate because I didn't eat my plate. My plate was ate up by my husband. Uh, so it's a wolf ticket. Yeah, I know that. I don't believe that. Anyway, it was delicious. Let's uh, see what else this place has in store for us. Maybe like our luggage. Yeah. But right now, you might be having a home for me. Kick off this whole party. 
and everywhere we go is going to participate. The DJ is going to drop a beat. And when he drops the beat, Open it, but let my wife tell you what I had. I just had burgers and fries. She just has. I have a hamburger with some cheese on it and some pickles. I don't want no bread. I have bacon in mine. I put some mayo. Chipotle, Chipotle mayo. Bacon, sauteed onions, tomatoes, and pepper. some peppers. Thank you. Damn, it's delicious. I'll show you guys something else later. This is just okay. Random time. Alright, so usually I don't do this, but this woman is looking so fun. Right? So we're in our room. I'm getting ready to dip out. It's an uh, elegant night. What's it called? Elegant night. Woo, baby, what's she boo? She boo. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> Let's step out. Because my wife is making me purse. 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 See, that's why. That's why y'all need to get married. Because, uh, ain't nothing like it. I used to have buddies to be like, man, you gonna have one chick, all the rest of you. It gets better and betterer and betterer and betterer. So we're going. Where? Where are you going? I don't know. We are. We are going on a trip. Everybody watching. Favorite big show. You got to everybody watching. Where we going? To all your, to all your fans. I is going to be. Pig and blanket. I'm just playing. <laughs> Pig, Pig and anchor. Are we going down or up? That young lady's trying to close the door on us. I should have put her on the. We got a million viewers. What's your name? See, I, I'm a, I should put her on. I should put her on blast. You hear her voice. I'm not gonna put her on camera because 
you know, she might sue us, so <laughs> my wife ain't got that much money. But uh, I'm just playing, sweetheart. You're looking good. You're looking good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. But I look bad. No, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, babe, I just started the video by pushing the button. And no, I don't have to hold it. Hey. Oh, so she's just trying. Watch out, got people. I'm trying. She's trying to. Uh, go ahead, talk to me. I'm trying to work this uh, selfie stick. Oh yeah. I'm never on camera, so. You always, you in every camera and every video I'm on this. I'm always taking pictures. Oh yeah. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. So, we're going. You know, to, so we, we're taking, we're just taking pictures. This is elegant, man. Really? So, come here. I know. That's the that's the thousand dollars. How's your day been thus far? It was good. It was good. What's so good about it? Everything. I slept good. You took a nap. So I today. Took a good nap. So today is elegant day. Uh, we're taking a couple pictures as you seen, as you seen, and uh, instead of going to a restaurant, we normally do a restaurant, but we're so in love with uh, picking a blanket. I mean. Pig and anchor. Pig and anchor. Guys, pig and anchor. I'm a meat. I'm a meat. So they're nice having free filet, barbecue filet mignon. Bet. So you gotta look pretty to go dine. You know, you can barbecue. Just don't get no uh barbecue sauce on your wife. From head to toe. From head to toe, right? I wish, I wish, I wish uh, you could really see, you know, look at this woman now. Can I, can I brag about my woman real quick? It's like for a second. Don't she look good? Don't she look good? I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. God has, God has been too good to me. <laughs> yeah, I should put her on here. Is he in trouble? Is he in the dog pound again? <laughs> And so, yeah, now my wife is cutting up our food. So, since you guys get to watch with us, you get to pray with us as well. So, here we are again. Uh, you know the restaurant. All right, so our food is here. Uh, you know where we are. Not picking a blanket. Picking anchor. My wife is cutting her food. She's ready. You want to sit here and document? I'm just ready. I want to remember these moments. I want to remember. And when she goes to the restaurant. But anyway, I'm glad we're not the kind of people that get, um, what is it? We ruined my appetite. So our food is here. So I'm just gonna show you what I got. Uh, the uh, barbecue. Barbecue filet mignon. Filet mignon. I got baked beans. beans, I love baked beans. I'm a big coleslaw fan. Green beans with bacon. I love it. Baby, what do you have on there? I have. <laughs> I have. Okay, come up some. As you can't see it, I can write cheese. College greens. This is some uh, St. Louis ribs. This is some cheddar sausage. This is the 18 hour brisket. Smoked 18 brisket. hours? 18 hours. And this, my darling, is the barbecue filet mignon. Yeah, you think we got the wrong plates, right? That's all right, though, but we're about to mash in, so we talk to y'all later. Peace out. Mustard was not good, but this one, this smoky chipotle. See, show them the, the sauces over here, baby. See? You got burning tomatoes, smoky chipotle, this mustard, and then this black pepper. These are all barbecue sauces. The black pepper was good. Mustard was not. This smoky chipotle was good, and then this, it was all right. Uh, I really don't know. So you but got greens. I got some no, greens. We got some light on the situation. I got some ribs. Ribs. Ooh, that looks delicious. Let me bite of that. Ooh, that's all delicious. Mmm. 
Oh yeah. Sausage and brisket. So now this brisket. Let me taste some of that. Oh yeah, 18 hours. It's good. They did a great job. I see when they brought it in actually. This is some kind of like cheddar sausage. How is it? Not bad. Here, you try it. I didn't cut it right, but just try this little baby bite. <laughs> That's good. What about that uh, filet mignon? It was great. Did it you try great. yours? I, I did. I just wanted to document how amazing it tasted. It was really good. So, we get a thumbs up. Thumbs up on this dinner. Thumbs up on this dinner. All right, I'm about to finish my plate. Well, this is our nightcap. We had a great day. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Hope I'm recording this. You see the moon in the background? Let's let show the moon. See the moon, and hopefully you can see the moon in the background. Maybe, maybe the back, not. We're at the back of the ship, so. Yes, and it's a little windy. It's not really cold. Let's get out here. The ship has been rocking. Oh my God, this ship has been rocking so much. More than ever? More than yeah, all the other smaller ships, which is freaking crazy to me. I'm like, this ship should be so heavy. So it doesn't move in the water, At but all. it does. Sorry. Think about the Titanic. I say, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all came. Mm -hmm.
Yes, we are at the Cucina del Cap Capitano Italian restaurant and you know, we haven't really recorded today. We did karaoke as you probably just saw. But uh, today has been a chill day. Day three on our Mardi Gras cruise. Uh, and then there's a bunch of characters in the house. I'll try to show them, show them later. There's a lot of costumes and everything going around, but we're getting ready to eat and we can share what's going on. Hi. Yeah, karaoke is at seven, but our dinner just hasn't been higher yet and it's already 7 12. So. But we'll show our plates in a minute. Mm -hmm. See, our food came. This is one of my sides. It is spinach and it looks delicious. It is delicious. And my wife already tasted my food. I have grilled fish uh, with green beans underneath and onions. I think I believe it is. Artichokes. What's this? This is so delicious. I forgot the was on the menu. But this is so creamy. It's so delicious. And uh, my wife has spaghetti. What's in your spaghetti? Spaghetti carbonara. Carbonara. And it's chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. Yes. Yeah. Wait. So, so good. So far, so good. Um, really let's good. move on. I'm about to dig in. So, please tell me what you guys think. This spinach is really good. I know. Like, like the best I've had in a long time. Yeah, that's All right. Good. I'm about to eat. We recently just landed for Puerto Rico. I'll show you a little background. I'm upstairs on the 17th floor and it is hot. This reminds me so much of that on Louisiana. Hot, sticky. It's that Louisiana weather. Hot, sticky, man. <laughs> but people got folks out getting ready to get ready to dip out. Dip out the dive. How your folks doing? Awesome. Just a Beautiful view, as you can see from the back. How you fellas doing? Got workers. It's a Walmart here. It's hot. That's for sure. Said it was supposed to rain, but we'll see. So, we'll see what kind of excursions things we can get into today. But boom, baby. Let's go. In Puerto Rico, San Juan. Oh, behind us. Oh. <laughs> anyway. As you can see, we just got off the ship. The Mardi Gras. So, fun fact. My wife is Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. They look just alike. So, this is a beautiful view. Let you get a little bit of the, uh, Culture. Let me move away from the water because I showed on with my phone to, to fall. Oh, yeah, that's, cool. that's a beautiful picture right there. Let us know if you need help. <laughs> Real talk. Let me see my man, the banjo man. I've been playing. me it's all about the authenticity of the city look at the bricks hand hand made roads that are 
are still alive and exist today. Such a blessing. Hey, how's it going? All right, all right. We're going to get some local, authentic food here on the square. Bear with us. So this is the restaurant we're going to be eating at today. How do, you, how do you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? All of these restaurants on this one block. Yeah, Cortine now. So, she's okay. Go do it. Handmade cigars. I need to get some. Or not. That chicken. Y'all know y'all want some chicken. Y'all know y'all want some chicken. Puerto Rico style. Let us move on. We are at Raices. That's the correct pronunciation. Raices restaurant in uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm impressed. They, they're literally dressing how their fathers and grandfathers their forefathers used to dress. My grandfather was back in the day. You see the pictures of portraits on the wall. <laughs> they use the El Baño. That's the restroom in Spanish. You know, I'm Panamanian, so I know I know my I know my Espanol. And I'm meeting all of these beautiful, beautiful Puerto Rican. My wife has Puerto Rican blood, which she found out a, year, a few years ago. What do you think about your people? Um, cool. Really? I'm trying to eat their food so I can see if I'm really like... She's not paying attention. So anyway, we'll move on. Okay, so we got a dish that she's been begging to get. Oh! We're about to dig in. Let's see. We're going to let you know. Uh, great service so far. We're going to let you in on this little... This little angel here. So this right here, you guys, is what Puerto Ricans call a mufanga. It's really popular known. And this one has skirt steak and chicken in a plantain-based like bowl. Little, but it tastes like um it almost tastes it honestly tastes like mashed potatoes, but Tasty. flavored. I just tasted this part, like the Without the meat, you see it right there, y'all? It literally tastes like mashed potatoes, but flavor like garlicky mashed potatoes. Ooh. I want some, I want some. Come on, you try it. I'm about to taste, I'm about to taste, I'm about to taste. Oh, there you are, I'm about to taste. Okay, so as you can see, it's gone, but it's still meaty all the way through. We ordered chicken and skirt steak. Look at all the meat on the inside. Most restaurants will have like three pieces of steak and two pieces of chicken. at the bottom. But man, and it is, it gets better all the way down to the bottom. As, a, as I would restaurant. like to also let you know that we have a, if you can hear me, they have a wonderful a show about dining the, options for your dining one. pleasure. But, uh, that includes the Rudy Secret, the Bonsai Tepanyaki, not to forget the Steakhouse 555 and the Emeril's Bistro just outside the Palm Restaurant this as well. This is amazing. Uh, shrimp scampi. Now in the dining room, shrimp your scampi. wonderful servers are ready to entertain you. Here's a question. Would you like to see your restaurant teams entertain you, everybody? And some fried yeah. cheese. Mozzarella. But we sorry, need everybody to join in together with us fried because mozzarella. participation is going to be the key to have fun. 
Yeah, no. This one's by Justin okay. Timberlake. It goes Lord. this way. Here we go. Hit it. Shrimp. Oh, wild, wild lines, boar. Everybody. Fried mozzarella and linguine. This is just our appetite. From the movie Trolls. Italian sausage linguine. And we're going to look at the uh, festivities. Hold on. Inside my bones. It goes electric, baby, when I talk. We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got it on beat, my friends. Sunshine in my pocket, we got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body, when it drops. Okay, so the appetizers were slamming. That pulled uh, pulled pork. It was it was pulled wild boar. It's still pork. Pulled pork, wild boar uh, was was phenomenal. This, even the shrimp were good, but um, the linguine and the sausages were were delicious as well. But highly recommend that pulled pork, wild boar. Yes. Again, the Palms restaurant, man, it was phenomenal. Right. right now we have um, some southern fried chicken. That's what I'm eating. Some steamed broccoli and uh, mashed mashed taters. And mashed my wife taters. has uh, some, what you got there? Uh, tenderloin. She got some tenderloin. Nice tenderloin. So let me, let, me, let me show you some. I mean, I'm, a no, I'm normally a dark. Uh, Skin one today. <laughs> Normally I'm a, a dark meat chicken guy, but uh, I know my wife, what you say, Norma? I'm a what? You a dark meat guy. But I'm a what? Today you gonna eat that light skin meat. You <laughs> eating that light skin meat today. And she has what? What you got, what you got over there? I have some Pimpers beef Pimpers. tenderloin and some green beans and potatoes. Mm. Take a bite, let me see you take a bite. Let's make this happen. That's nice. Oh. One bite just like that, mm. it, hit you, it hit your taste birds. Oh, it hit her taste birds. Mm -hmm. It hit her taste birds before she could even, uh, her taste buds. Mm -hmm. Her taste birds before she could even, oh, let's see if it hit my taste birds. Mm. Okay. Yeah, as soon as it hit your taste birds. Oh my God, huh? It was good. Okay, again, so usually I, usually I don't do this Hold breast. But look at how juicy this white meat is. This is delicious. I'm, I'm about to, you wanna taste a little white? You love breast meat. I'm gonna stick to beef today. Mm. Okay, so my wife said, I'm gonna enjoy this pineapple. What is that? Mm -hmm. Pineapple something. Fritter? No. Look, look, look at the menu. What is this called? Pineapple double, double roasted pineapple. Double, double roasted, roasted pineapple. pineapple. Diet it's choice, dessert. Right. And um, I'm diet melted choice. brown and, and today we have like ice cream in. First one, it's always changing. <laughs> uh, today was bitter and brown. The second one is this one is uh, diet. Okay, so we are full as full as tick. As Granny will say, full as tick. Okay, so we have a huge revelation. What do we have a revelation about tonight? Right, this is what we have a revelation about tonight. Speak. Your portions of food that you eat uh -huh. compared to like what they serve you. So like here, 
you get like a full like five course meal type of thing you get the appetizer the entree the dessert and all this other stuff in between you get bread and you know so you come here oh, yeah, i forgot about the bread with a with, with your significant other or with whoever you're hungry so you think uh, be cautious of what you're ordering right because you get your appetizer and if you don't know what you you know what to expect it could be big it could be small whatever but um this is good information for you guys by the way i just i just want to give send you me a check my right. cash app is so, uh, so listen linda <laughs> leroy this is leroy so, <laughs> listen so i didn't want what he wanted and right. normally like we would agree on something but he wanted chicken so they had the fried chicken which i wasn't that it was all right pressed to it it wasn't great right. but anyway um and i had the beef tenderloins like we said earlier <clears throat> i was able to eat half of my food before i was full of tick he ate pretty much half but all of, you know kind of half of his food because he kind of left half of it too so we have the revelation that had we just ordered one plate of food right. one dessert because we ate half our dessert, we ate half our appetizer, for the most part. The appetizer was really good. I think we ate a whole one appetizer, a whole other appetizer, but the third appetizer we kind of didn't eat at all. So it's like a, a law of food agreement to <laughs> to not be a glutton. Right. Because all of this food is going to waste. I was, I was happy to hear that they grind up all of the wasted food, you know, because we look at people's plates and it's barely touched. They're barely like, touched. And we're like, you know, and a lot of these people is, a lot of these people are from different countries. So I can only imagine third world countries where they don't uh, have a lot of food. They don't right. have a lot of resources. And they're taking our empty plates and they're Looking like, right. Look at these Americans, so wasteful greedy and wasteful, and wasteful and gluttony. You know, it's a sin. But anyway, I'm not gonna preach. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> we're trying to help y'all. So we gotta help y'all on y'all cruise. Better portion. Make make wise decisions. So, wise of decisions when it comes so, to dinner plates. So what do we mean by that? Finish it upstairs. That means so, literally making uh, better choices. Making so better choices. So we can actually like just agree because on like, he wanted fried chicken, I didn't want fried chicken. Uh, I could have said, okay, we'll try the fried chicken. But you got the, I got the beef. She got the and beef, and I phenomenal. and we both wanted that. So what we should have done was agreed, was agreed on, on the on the dinner, the uh, the entree, the entree. Agree on the, the entree. Maybe have our own appetizers. Right. But tonight was rare. We could have shared the same appetizer, appetizer. because it was big enough to because feed us both. It, yes, we could have shared the same entree, and we could have shared the, the same, same dessert. dessert. And we would not have wasted food, you know. Uh, we wasted a little bit tonight. A little bit. We didn't I, I had to ask God, Lord, forgive me. In the name of Jesus, he please. Hates to waste. For I, me, I ever since I've been on this ship, I hate wasting. I'll food. take it with me, like I'm gonna take it, take it home, and I'm gonna. And then I remember, like, dude, food is flowing on this ship 24/7. Right. Why right. are you taking this to the room? Why? Then it makes you feel bad because you didn't right. finish your food right. and you wasted. So, so moral of the story: don't waste food make be better wise decisions. make better decisions you, you know, know be it's more just cautious smart. about what you know what we're doing there's a you lot know, of people out there just because it's available don't mean that you have to put it on your plate right if it's, you know you really ain't that hungry get a smaller portion right you go to the buffet stop picking up everything just because you think oh that looks good that looks good take a little bit like a little bit just, a little bit. just enough to see if you like it if there's like a it, lot of people more, there's a lot of people that would love the crumbs that uh you throw away I'm making a I'm making a video on this lady talking about using the restroom. I should I put you on my camera. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you. Oh, she just put me on blast. <laughs> I should I should I should have put her on camera. But anyway, so just remember, there are a lot of people that uh, no matter what restaurant you go to, that would love the crumbs that fall off your plate, and especially the unconsumed. Meals that you order. Oh, I'm so hungry, and you know that's especially when we let our how we do our kids. We're treating our kids to be Gluttons. wasteful and glutton. So let's change that up. Waste right. not, won't not. Waste not, won't not. See you tomorrow. So, so the rest of this trip, you'll see uh, us making wise decisions. But a good meal, very good meal. See my husband. Very good restaurant. To you again. Oh, uh -uh. restaurant. Very good. Very good meal. Out.
All right, so this is our next adventure. It's a little show contest where they pick three married couples. One that's uh, recently married, one that's uh, somewhat in the mid-range, which I guess we would fall into uh, going on eight years. And, um, and uh, a couple that has been married for quite some time. So. Let's see if we can pick tonight. I told them the, what's going on tonight, so anything you want to say? Yes. What? So how do you, your friend? Say hi to my little friend. Her hi. name is Andrea. Tell her about our page. Oh, we have a page called uh, Fighting for Our Marriage. So we will not release this unless we have your... Uh... Authorization. <laughs> <laughs> Was handy. We are getting ready to get off at Amber Cove. We're at Amber Cove in Dominic, Dominican Republic, DR. Uh, they say Christopher Columbus discovered this um, this location uh, the early, uh -huh. early in the early settlements of America. Um, so yeah, my wife and I are about to get out, get out, get off the ship, and see what uh, uh, what's in store, baby. Say hello. hello. Isn't she love Isn't she wonderful? Man, we had an amazing time last night. Let me tell you about that. An amazing event last night. They had a love and marriage show contest and Aisha and I were selected to go up on stage and let's just say it was memorable. On vacation. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add my wife to this conversation. Baby last night. Yeah what happened? Tell the people about your your experience on uh, how amazing last night was. Love and marriage. <laughs> love and marriage. So bring it down. Break it down one time. <clears throat> Break it down two times. Break it down three times. <laughs> yeah, Break it down. That's my whole, infinity. I messed up my whole outfit. I had something <laughs> in my Really? You don't know, tell uh, air? Yeah. Oh, my bad. Okay, he don't have to my... edit. I might have put a beep on that. <laughs> oh, so, anyway. We were chosen to go on stage. All I know is I'm still trying to find where that food table is at. <laughs> Inside that, joke. That's only for those who who happen to uh, have been there. I should have said that last night. <laughs> like, just letting everybody know. I got a, you know, page. It's called <laughs> Fight for a Marriage. Yeah, it's on, it's on Facebook. Facebook. We've been documenting this whole da 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 da, -da. <laughs> But yeah, it was awesome. So we, we were asked a series of 10 questions. And, you know, we had to get it right. Of course we won. But uh, they gave... The prize to, to all three married. It was a young couple that had only been married less than a week. Had been married for couple. like five minutes. An older couple that had been married for 53 years. The man just didn't remember nothing. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. He stole the show. He and then there was us. Out of all the people that were in there, at least 200 people in there. Easily. And they picked us. They picked because us. This dude right here. Right. Right. This guy. Please uh, exit now. Man. I was tired. I was ready to go to sleep. And this dude talking about something. The, the people said, uh, prove, your love. Prove, prove how passionate you are about your spouse. <laughs> Don't tell Reggie to do that. So anyway, we were selected and that's, that was just the beginning of mayhem. But uh, anyway, let's go see what's out on We're about to get off the ship, streets. so we're going to have to push pause. We'll be back in a minute.
beautiful view. I got a cabin in the hall. Just, just beautiful for no reason. My wife, the social butterfly. You look like you belong on the water, woman. You can pull them up instead of taking it off. I want to be a kid again. All right. Oh, right here. Just gotta take it slow. Oh, oh. We on the beach. Whoa, 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 whoa. Crap. Whoa, whoa. We on the beach. We on the beach. We're in the water. In the water. Surrounded by water. Surrounded. And there's a whole bunch of rocks. Shoot, shoot. Ouch. You gotta hold my wife. So. <laughs> Look at them, they about to get flipped off that mud. We are on the beach. In. And the water. The water tide. We are surrounded. By water. By water tide. There's nothing. But water. But water tide. Do not drink. This water. You will shrivel up drink. like a perm. This is straight salt water. Whatever's in here is dead. <laughs> dead too. Grand Turk Island. What's that? What I do is sweat. Chocolate melt in the sun. Honey, so does this brown sugar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It might be light brown, but still it's brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. I it get high off my love each and every Yep. Alright y'all, so this is our exit out of Grand Turk. I don't know if you can see how shiny I am. <laughs> but yeah, I've been out here getting hopefully tanned and not burned like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> a rotisserie chick. A rotisserie yeah. chick. Well, but it's so hard. Let's go here. It's so hard mm -hmm. to say goodbye. How you doing? And I'll take with me the memory. Be my sunshine after the rain. It's so hard to say goodbye to us. Oh, I lost my voice. Was that okay though, ma'am? All right, all right. We have you. We have a uh, Facebook page, you know. We can thank you so very much. <laughs> God bless you guys. See everybody like. Totally clear. A lot clear. So she said, we're backing that thing up. <laughs> we're falling that water. We're going to reverse. Boom! Right over the side. How you doing? How <laughs> clear the water is. I just want to see. I just want to see the difference. It's your quality. I'm playing with my phone a little bit right now, but he likes to play with things. Especially this. Especially, especially, especially no. I'm gonna let me show you what he likes to play with. Here, let me show you. Ah, 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 
Sauce, jalapenos, guacamole, and creme, which is just sour cream. Sounds good. Okay, sounds good. Are you still recording? Sounds good. Oh, uh, so Reggie's Steak Ranchero is a strip loin steak in a mild guillalo, guillalo <laughs> chili marinade with a uh, robocado. A robocado. What the what is that? Oh, that's the duck. Look at my duck. It's it like a whole duck. All the thing that was missing was feet in the head. I don't know if I want a duck. When I see that. <laughs> I know I'm gonna see one when I get home. Poor little duck. He was on our dinner table. 
So the only other thing is she's getting fresh fruit for dessert and I'm getting a chocolate melted cake. Melted cake. So we're gonna take a look at how this is. Y'all stay tuned, don't go nowhere. I promise you, you gonna love it. Okay, so we get so excited, we get our food and we kind of forget to tune in. This is a, the roll. Uh, chicken wrap. Chicken lettuce wrap. Chicken lettuce wrap, excuse me. And here's my wife's. Uh, pork tacos. And these are real, like, pork. It's almost like boiled or something. Yeah. But, uh, and we see we got some tortillas as well. She ate her pot sticker, which she says was amazing. Amazing. And this right here. This it's right some here. Kind of super nacho. Bruh, this right here. This right here. <laughs> it was so good. We could just get like a big plate of that for dinner, and I promise you that would have been more than enough. All right, so far, your thoughts? Everything has been great so far. I'm trying, to break, I'm, I'm trying to break my pork down so I can make a taco. Everything's been good. I'm not a huge fan of the, of the pork. pork. Nah. But, I mean, everything else has been, has been good. And she likes to doctor hers up. So that's probably why mine is not as good as hers. All right, my dear, so what we're working with now, we got our This is the pork course. something something with the frijoles beans. The pork. Something. That's the frijoles. That's the frijoles. The frijoles. That's green beans, green beans. and that's the steak ranchero. The green beans come with garlic and... Uh, Some kind of onions and cheese. Onions and cheese. And mine is... Steak ranchero. Carrots, onions, a side of pepper, tomato. Uh, we're gonna dig in, so go ahead. I never get me, so I'm gonna start with the frijoles. Take that. Stir that up a little bit. Get that cheese all, that cheese all marinated in it. Ooh, look at, look at, look at here. My wife always talks about me smelling my food. I tell her, 90% of what you smell is what you taste. Not bad. You wanna take a taste of yours, honey? I, I took a taste. Sure. Okay, now here's the steak. Here's my steak. I just cut a piece of my, my steak. And the steak ranchera. I'm not gonna use the dipping sauce yet. Got a piece of fat, but a little different texture. Not too bad. Okay, what's your pork? <laughs> I'm not too impressed. At all. The beans are the best thing on my plate. Really honest, there you have it. Okay, so. Yeah, it was okay. I mean, after getting through my the fat of my steak, it uh, got a little better, but the beans were good. The green beans were good. Yep. The frijoles were good. I'm, their pork, I'm not too satisfied with their pork, but, um, you know, it was what it was. Or should I say it is what it is. Uh, you can't always give great reviews. The crazy thing is we love Love, love, love Mexican food. I just think this is a poor choice of menu items. Yeah. They were trying to do yeah, too we much. Yeah, we love Chinese food, but the, I, as far as the Mexican food, it was phenomenal. The flavors didn't blend well. They, okay. like, they didn't mesh well. Right, right. The flavors were kind of off. I don't know if I would have tried something different for a Mexican dish. Yeah. I just... My wife is talking. I totally agree, 1,000 grand. <laughs> What'd you get? The what? I got the healthy choice. The healthy choice. And I'm going with the uh, can never fail me. Hey, they peeled my melting orange. chocolate. They peeled the oranges. Yes, isn't this so cute? Uh, How sweet! They gave me five whole grapes and a it. whole sliver of pineapple that I'm eat not eating. Eat it. 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 Pungent? Did it smack you in the tongue? <laughs> 
Oh, uh, tart? <laughs> watermelon with real black watermelon seeds. Right. So you know it's like real them. watermelon. Let me dive into be. this thing. Oh, it is. You can't you can't make uh, artificial black seeds. Black seeds. This stuff right here is so good, guys. If you've never had the melting. Oh my god. Oh, can you smell this? Oh my god, look at that. This is without ice cream. Oh mama, mama, mama. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, oh, gee. Trust me. I'm really ever on camera. He always says that, but yet still he has a selfie stick. Exactly. <laughs> so how is it, honey? He's going in fast motion right now. <laughs> okay, so I decided to save the best for last. And I got so excited about eating that I forgot to document it, but I am gonna go over it anyway. This guy at Carnival. Shaq's chicken. Yeah, it's delicious. Let's, let's take a look. This is um, Zach's big chicken. Man, this is so delicious. See, they got breakfast. They got chicken strips. They got crispy chicken sandwiches. I just had a big Aristotle, which was the bomb. I wish I could take a picture of it, but man, this is highly, highly recommended. Uh, no, no doubt, one of my favorite chicken spots from now on. So yeah, uh, Shaq's Big Chicken is a must. Here's a, the sauces too. Here's the pickles. It looks like ooh. They don't look like they don't look like normal pickles. We got. We got ketchup, ketchup. barbecue ranch, buffalo high, Shaq sauce, and Memphis barbecue. A Memphis barbecue go hard. So whenever you this on this cruise, the stuff you can put on your sandwich. Even a buffet. So whenever you whenever you on a cruise, so you some salad. Sit you some jalapeno sauce, slaw, slaw, and some pickles. Man, ain't it worth it, baby? Turn around, say hey to the cruise. Hey to the people. You see how tall you is, Shaq? And then <laughs> that's not, that's not a life size. Probably nah. No. That's not. But this is. Yeah, let's see how small your hand is. To this. <laughs> I'm to his first knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a girl. That's a man, man. That's a giant. That's a baby giant. I'm not getting your face. Don't worry. <laughs> nice little rainbow. Yeah, it's raining. That's probably why we're on standby. Well, it's so hard Not really. to <laughs> say goodbye to free food and not having to clean up after so <laughs> that's all I care about. Takeaways. Highlights. The highlights? Your karaoke. Highlights is karaoke? Really? Uh, all, all the stuff that we did? Yeah. I enjoy karaoke the most. Um, so, Frederick said, yeah, I booked the flight. Food was decent. Oh, she's 